the saltiness, the richness, the buttery flavor, the cooked, deep, nutty caramel flavor, all of those things come together in this simple, simple sauce. Hi, I'm Micah, and I'm gonna show you a recipe that everyone who loves desserts and loves making desserts should keep in their back pocket. It's a caramel sauce, but not just any caramel sauce, a salted caramel sauce. Making caramel is a finicky process. Um, it's only finicky because cooking sugar is a little tricky. It can lead to a couple different problems. Probably the most predominant one is sugar's natural tendency to crystallize, which makes hard crunchy bits, which is kind of the opposite of what you're looking for in a smooth decadent caramel sauce. So I'm going to show you this recipe that incorporates a couple ingredients that help prevent any of those outlying threats to your perfect, smooth, velvety caramel sauce. I have a medium-sized saucepan here, and to this I'm going to add one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And then I'm going to add five tablespoons of water and one and a half tablespoons of corn syrup. As you're cooking the sugar, the water is going to cook off and it allows the sugar to heat up more slowly than if you cooked the sugar by itself, which is what prevents it from threatening to either burn too quickly or threatening it to crystallize. In the corn syrup, this is kind of the secret ingredient, it's an inverted sugar, which is really fancy science to say, it just prevents the sugar from crystallizing. So with the water, the corn syrup, and the sugar in your saucepan, just take a spatula and stir everything until it's really well combined. All right, we're gonna set this saucepan over medium high heat, and we're just gonna bring it to a boil. My sugar mixture has come to a boil, and I'm gonna let it boil for about 10 to 12 minutes until it becomes a really deep, rich amber color. It is so important that you, under no circumstances, stir this sugar mixture. It needs to boil all on its own. If you stir it, that will cause the sugar to crystallize, which will prevent us from having that smooth, silky caramel sauce that we're looking for. As it's cooking, I'm gonna use my wet paper towel, or if you have a pastry brush, use that to just gently dab droplets of water around the edge of the pot if I notice any sugar crystals beginning to stick. What it's imperative for you to do at this point is to make sure you have the rest of your ingredients ready to go. So I have three quarters of a cup of heavy cream that I've microwaved for about 45 seconds so that it's warm. Um, it's not hot or steaming, but it is quite warm to the touch. I also have one full teaspoon of kosher salt and this is gonna add that salted component to the caramel sauce. Um, you can add more salt to your taste if you would like more of it later, or you can add less if it's a little too salty for you. Um, and I also have a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda and two tablespoons of unsalted butter that's at room temperature. Once the caramel starts changing color and becoming lightly browned and you start smelling that cooked sugar aroma, you need to make sure to stay near the pan. <laughs> Sugar can burn really easily, and once it burns, it becomes bitter and unpalatable. All right, it's taken on that beautiful amber color. I'm going to add the butter, which will start hissing pretty dramatically. The baking soda. My cream. And my salt. And I'm just going to gently stir. After those additions, it has been cooking for 30 seconds to a minute, so I'm going to remove it from heat and allow it to cool completely. All right, now for the best part. I'm going to take some of my caramel sauce and I'm just going to drizzle it over some vanilla bean ice cream that I have here. When you pour caramel sauce on an ice cream, it becomes slightly chewy while still being loose and liquid enough to still classify as a sauce. Um, 
the saltiness, the richness, the buttery flavor, the cooked, deep, nutty caramel flavor, all of those things come together in this simple, simple sauce that you can make and add to so many different pastries. Everything from ice cream to cake. Honestly, our salted caramel sauce will probably become one of your new favorites. So give it a shot. If you've enjoyed what you've watched today, subscribe to the Southern Living YouTube channel. Thanks so much.